It's a question that you've never asked, but probably one that you now want to know the answer to. In this episode of Mike's Mechanics, a Christmas special, we're going to answer How much horsepower does Santa's sleigh need to take off? Well, to get that horsepower figure, we first need to find the lift and thrust needed to get that sleigh off the ground. But before that, we need to find the mass, acceleration and takeoff speed of Santa's sleigh. Let's start with the mass. Let's assume that every child is a petrol head and therefore Santa is going to give them a nice little toy car like this Porsche 917 here. This weighs 35 grams, but multiply that by the amount of kids that are going to be celebrating Christmas, around 660 million of them, and that total mass suddenly becomes 23.3 million kilograms. That's a lot. Next, we have to find the takeoff speed, and for that we're going to use this lift equation. Lift force is what is needed to get the sleigh off the ground, and in order to do that, lift force has to be equal to the weight. The equation also uses something called a coefficient of lift, which is a number that refers to the lift characteristics of a body. Now we're going to assume that Santa has done some serious aerodynamic work to his sleigh, and that it resembles a fairly standard aerofoil. Through a standard engineering graph, we're going to give Santa's sleigh a lift coefficient of 0.55, and giving him a decent set of wings, we're going to give him a wing surface area of 20 meters squared. Plug those numbers in and rearrange, and we get a takeoff velocity of 5,887 meters per second, or roughly 13,000 miles per hour. Next, we use the equations of motion, specifically this one, to find acceleration, and working towards that holy grail of Newton's second law, F equals MA. Giving Santa a decent runway length of say 500 meters for S, we can rearrange and get an acceleration of 34,660 meters per second squared. That's getting seriously quick. Now we're at the meaty bit, thrust. Thrust is going to be the force pushing Santa's sleigh down that runway, and it's equal to the mass of the sleigh multiplied by its acceleration, F equals MA. Take those numbers that we've already calculated and boom, we have a thrust force of over 800 billion newtons. Now to find Santa's horsepower, we need to convert that thrust force into a power figure. Now power is a force multiplied by a velocity. Now this bit's going to get a bit messy, so come check out my notes. So take our thrust figure, change it to imperial units and multiply it by our takeoff velocity now also converted from metric meters per second into imperial feet per minute. And we have a horrendous power figure of 0.2 billion billion pounds feet per minute. Ugh, yuck. Anyway, we're going to change that awful number into a nice horsepower figure using a similar equation to the one I used in my power video from a couple of weeks ago. We're going to change that pounds feet per minute value back into horsepower by dividing it by 33,000. And finally, the amount of horsepower Santa needs to take off in his sleigh is... 6.37 trillion brake horsepower. Think about that when you're eating your turkey this Christmas. Or if you want something a little smaller and more digestible, think of it as 4.3 billion Bugatti Chirons. It's safe to say that Santa is a massive petrol head and Rudolph has been putting in some serious gym work these days. Merry Christmas from myself and everyone at Drive Tribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below with what you'd like us to explain next.